And Danny, did you ever <laughs> get the music, the Beatles music? Uh, is it you wrote to the Living Beatles and then the Widows? Yes, we, uh, you have to, obviously, Sony control the financial side of it, but Apple, which is the, uh, the, the two surviving Beatles and their widows, and the two other widows, um, control the aesthetic, you know, how it's used, so, it's not, so the music isn't misused. And it's incredibly expensive. I mean, it's the most expensive item I've... No, the second most expensive item I've ever had in a film. What's the first? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio's wow. film. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like new, but, and they were and they they were beautiful. They we showed them the film and they wrote. We got a lovely letter off Ringo and off Olivia, George's widow. Very beautiful uh, letters back from them. So, uh, you know, they don't they don't need to kind of like recommend the film, yeah. but they gave us the go ahead to go with the film. Because you grew up with their music. I mean, you were a kid when they were in the charts and stuff. Well, I was like, I remember being seven years old, and I have a twin sister, and we used to play upstairs in bed pretending to... She was in love with Paul McCartney, so she would play Paul and I would therefore play John. And we had a younger sister, Bernadette, who was four, and she would play George or Ringo... The others. Or, uh, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got the numbers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, our, our parents were playing... And the reason we were playing it is because downstairs, our parents were playing the original seven-inch singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Love Me Do and Please Please Me. And you always think of your parents as old, don't mm. you? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, when I'd been doing this film, I realised they were young then, yeah. and they were dancing downstairs to the original Beatles music, oh, which that's is lovely. Amazing. So.